Hey guys, Killerman Zach here. Um, today I'm going to be playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, let's press start, let's start a new game, new run. Since I don't have any other characters unlocked since I haven't played the game, I'm going to choose Isaac, who's typically the default person when you play Binding of Isaac. Actually, he always is the default person. Alright, let's see if we can get past this without losing any health. Treasure room. Mm. Toxic block. Hard bomb. Oh, oh. Alright, so we got a little poop on the back of us. Almost like a little backpack. Uh, the bomb, extra bombs will definitely help. And if I need to, and I'm in a pinch, then I can uh, use them to help the kill the enemy. Uh, these guys are a little bit annoying. <laughs> He does try to left the circle around the group until you start coming enough of them and then you uh, become a little bit warped with the saw right there. And uh, start coming out to be a weird pattern. Since their main AI is just to uh, circle around and just try to slowly get to you. Uh, so you got some more bombs, got some keys. Uh, there's nothing else over here. Oh, more bombs and coins. I fucked up there. Not keys. Alright, well, I'm gonna go over here, see if over here. Oh, sacrifice room. Those rooms are really beneficial if you have enough health. Like right there. Um, I'll come back to this room after the box room. If I don't lose any health or this one becomes extra and I can use some of my health there. But it all depends. So, uh, those you can get some special items, chests, uh, any type of chest I think, red, um, gold, and a normal chest. Um, I kind of forget what, uh, what else you can get in there. You got the fly, and these little head combinations. You have to sort of move out and move in a little bit, and then move back. Gross. If you're wondering how I know a little bit, I've played uh, some of the games, haven't really um, been the game, I should say, like, gotten to the final boss stages. Um, like I've heard Satan and uh, Isaac done just a little bit of that, but not fully, but uh, how I know a little bit of uh, these guys. Uh, these guys. <laughs> uh, not only does this guy have the flies to protect him, but it also regenerates the flies that come out of him. If it's kind of fast, it regenerates great. So if you, can, uh, you don't have any damage items on you. So you can slowly move in and slowly get in your house while also looking out for these great flies. Whenever uh, I can get too many flies, or uh, certain flies like those big ones, they'll start flying after you instead of trying to see you. So I'm just like a little half flies. So I got most of the flies away. I generally swim for half the head, and I'll have the half the heart. Alright, so I'm just there, so I'm just good. More than halfway. It's gonna be too hard now. Basically, we got an extra heart container, which we can use to uh, store some uh, little attack bastards. And a little heart on the column. And then the headless body. Yeah, those are pretty dangerous. These ones aren't too bad, they just walk around and uh, don't really do anything. Except if you get too close and you get in the path of killing, and then those guys, as you can see, the ones that squirt blood, they uh, 
walk around and convince you if you need to touch them, or they walk in your path, or you do. But they can also shoot the blood out and uh, hurt you with that. So through there, get the extra heart. And I don't think I'm going to be sacrificing your life for that. It's not really worth it. I need all the life I can get. Do something uh, right about here. You see those uh, three rooms right there? There's a big room. There's the room that's in front of the crown, where the crown is, the treasure room. And then there's the room I'm in. Usually, at, uh, where three rooms meet, it's not always there, but there's yep, there's sometimes a secret room. And I guess I apparently found one of the, um, newer items. I've only found that item one other time, and basically it takes you into, um, a special dungeon area where you can get, um, I think, random items, but it might be one item. Alright, go okay. okay, so, alright, so there... I don't know if there's going to be an enemy around this area. Okay. Yeah, that was not the way uh, that it happened before. So let's check this out. See if there's anything good over here. Drop some food. Oh, so I found a devil room. Secret devil room. Oops. Those you can get, if you put in enough coins, you can unlock certain items that are specific to that. But, <clears throat> you can also, um, along with it, if I place some bombs down, or a bomb, I can blow that up a little bit without actually destroying it, and uh, get some coins back. So, that's pretty useful. I don't really see anything that two of you use. Besides this, BFFS, your friend rule, which basically means that uh, any friends or companions that you get, they will uh, be much bigger and do, I think, double damage. Right, so I'm going to go over to um, Sacrifice Room. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but had some extra health there. Oh, got top there. Okay. Alright, let's go through here. Uh oh, I know I know what that was. That little chocolate bar, it's like uh gives me diarrhea and that's why it does that. That's why it uh poops every so often. Go back in here. Yeah I think those are just randomly generated and uh different sort of dungeons. This one was a special one. Um, I don't think I'm going to get anything else in there. Right, I think I'm going to go back up to the boss, boss room and uh... Hmm. I think I'm going to go through the other one. The other trap door. Not sure where it leads. I have a feeling that it leads to the same area, but I'd rather be uh, safe. And uh, well, I'd rather test it out. To be Alright, let's go down. Okay, so I was right. <coughs> We got the challenge room. I think that opens up with everyone uh, all the rooms in the map. We got coins, we got hearts. No, no. Need to get a key to get into that treasure room because I have a feeling that I'm gonna get something pretty good from that. Or at least something I can work with. So fire. I'll grab that later. I don't want to use that just yet. I'd rather use my red heart 
and uh, take damage with those. Because uh, there's some, a heart back there, a full heart, in case I uh, lose some health. So with those uh, temporary full hearts, once they're gone, they're gone. So I'd rather uh, use it a little bit more. Than, uh, little head guy. Yeah, have a little bit more room for him, so he doesn't, he doesn't walk around as quickly. Oh. oh yeah, the um, the green guys, they basically blow up whenever you uh, kill them. And it's not such a weird, if you drop the bomb or some of the guy. Okay, that card, the High Priestess, I believe it's Mom's foot that comes down, and if you're the only one in the room, she'll attack you and do one big stomp on you. But if you're in a room with enemies, just go in the corner and uh, wait for her to do a job. Okay. She's pretty useful. Just uh, make sure you don't. Basement boy achieves. Got one mom's coin purse. A bunch of pills. I found pills. <laughs> I look like a dumbass now. Alright, I can see forever. Okay, that card is good because basically it allows me to see the secret rooms without having to use bombs. Let's see. Okay. It just gave me some uh, health. Took away two. Um, since I had full and then gave me two, if I had one, it wouldn't, would just give me back hearts. Bad trip. Oh. Okay, so, wasn't entirely the best pills, but, I mean, I can Oh! That was not what I wanted to do. Uh, my keys went a little bit forward on their own, but uh, I can still work with that. Although, the nice thing about this is that I can fly over objects now, so I don't have to blow up certain objects. Like, there's an object over here, and I can grab it instead of having to blow up that stuff. So, let's see. Secret room. I'm gonna blow this up and see what happens. Alright, a pill. And I'll just take it to clear it up. See, now I can use that since I have one heart container, I can use it right there. So I found the secret room and the super secret room. Okay. And see, the good thing about this is uh, if I didn't have bombs, I could always just blow up into this room, but I can also blow up these to get into um, side rooms, like um, the shop, if I don't want to uh, use keys for the shop and I have more bombs, which I do. Then I can do that instead. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this. That means I get two of everything. Uh, like bombs, keys, whenever I find them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the treasure room. And Scorpio poison tears. Okay, so that means I uh, poison whoever I hit. Here, see if I can gain something extra. See what happens. I'm gonna put a few coins in here to get. Oh! Alright, yeah, sometimes you get screwed over like that. But that's alright. Yeah, that wasn't the best run. Normally when you start out on the game, the runs aren't the best, um, depending on what you find, but uh, as more items get in there, uh, you get a mock, you get a better chance of uh, finding some good items. Um, if I can get any damage items, then I can really do some damage on the enemy and it'll be easier. Quad shot. So that means my shot speed went down, and uh, I got more tears out of that. Okay. The farther I am away, the more they can go. Um, 
A lot of damage <clears throat> from up close, from point blank. Not a lot of damage from far, far off. Let's see what like one hit on that side. One hit on the other two. Ooh. Okay, I can work that. Alright, got a key. Alright, let's see. Okay, I can we got monster. He's like one of those guys that wants to go and get really fucked up. Or he's just a dumbass and uh, hit his head or something on him. He just looks very fucked up. That um, you can take advantage of when you jump. You take about a uh, second or so, about a second to um, start moving. You can get a good cool range and shot speed up. Okay, um, that works. Okay, so I got a black heart. Evil basically means that you get a black heart whenever it says that. Alright, let's see what else I can get over here. Before I move on. Okay, Rainbow Peak. Oh. And this is just a gag that they added. Alright, kill these last little poops and see if there's anything in the room that's dead. Okay, nothing but a coin. I can watch that. Alright, let's go up and. Yeah, I think I'll keep that. And I'll use the bomb right there. Got the bomb. I'm just doing that to see if there's anything uh, else in there, like the rocks. I don't believe rocks drop anything unless you get a power up that or item that allows them to. But uh, for now. Do that. Sometimes there's yeah, three coins. I know it's good to do. Okay, and just do that. Uh, can go over there. These guys are pieces of shit. And they're shit. Let's just throw all the poop. Let's see what we get. Did we get anything? Unless you get an item that helps with that, you don't really get much out of the poops. Let's see if we can move him over to where I need him to be. I'm trying to push him over to here so I can see if there's a secret room in there. Larry Jr. 
these guys are a little bit annoying. Their, their movement are partially predictable, but not fully. You really have to watch out. So you let them come to you and just try to destroy as much as they can. They drop. Impossible. Yeah, see, I didn't know it was going that way. But some damage up there is going to be a little bit quicker than you. More health. The dog food dinner HP hub. All right, let's see what else is in here. Yeah, you always want to destroy the poop because you never know what's going to be in there. I always like to destroy these even though they're even though they're pretty dangerous because the fires also drop items. Randomly. They may or may not pretty much. Right, well, I'm gonna do that. The room does not. And you go in here. The little bit of life for grabs. Okay, so basically I can do <coughs> blood donations right here. Go. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's probably not good. Oh, a little bit. Alright, so I got another soul heart. Lock and go in here. Mm. Luck is not going the best. Yep. Once again, mm. luck is not the best. Mm. Alright, let's go over here. Let's see what's in these rooms. Let's see what's in the treasure room. Right. Distant admiration attacks fly. Or attacks fly. Alright, so he'll basically hover around me and uh. Uh, as you can see, he's flying at a certain distance. He's not going to get any closer or go farther away. He's just going to stay right there <clears throat> and uh, attack anyone who comes too close. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're in cage one. To beat the first level. All right, these guys are like mystics. If you get too close to them, they'll start shooting on the tears, but the tears will be uh, curved. Yeah, so they start curving towards the enemy. Instead of an aim bottom, but if you can uh, keep running at an angle, they won't hit you. Or if you can run next to the wall, they won't. Starts lunging at you and goes a little bit faster. 
guy and the recording guy. Alright, I'm gonna quad shot. Perfect. They get a little bit too close to extra damage. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this item and then we'll end the Okay, pageant boy. So I got uh, some coins. Alright, thanks guys for watching. If you wanna see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. And um, join me next time when I continue Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Alright, bye.